Toyota just dropped news that could revolutionize the way we think about engines and electric vehicles. Imagine a world where cars not only run efficiently, but also clean up the environment as they go. Sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, right? Well, hold on, because it's real, and it's called the carbon negative engine. So what's all the buzz about? Toyota's CEO, Koji, just shook the automotive world with the announcement of their groundbreaking carbon negative engine. But what exactly does carbon negative mean? Simply put, it's an engine that not only produces power, but also removes more carbon dioxide from the atmosphere than it emits during its operation. Talk about a game changer! But why is Toyota going against the EV trend? Aren't electric cars supposed to be the future? Well, Koji believes in offering people more options. While EVs have been gaining popularity, they do come with their fair share of challenges, like range anxiety and high prices. Toyota aims to address these concerns head-on with their carbon-negative engine. But hey, before we continue, if you're enjoying this video, do well to give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe buttons to show your support. If you've done that, let's continue. Now let's talk numbers. This engine boasts some impressive stats. Not only is it half the price of an EV, but it also offers nearly double the range. That's right, you heard it correctly. More bang for your buck and fewer pit stops for charging. But wait, there's more. Toyota isn't just making bold claims, they're backing it up with action. They recently put their carbon-negative engine to the test in the high-stakes world of racing. Two Toyota race cars powered by this revolutionary engine took on the competition at the 2023 Super Tech Series, going head-to-head -head with the formidable AMG GT3s. And the results? Astonishing doesn't even begin to cover it. But here's the total kicker. Toyota isn't just in it for the glory of victory on the racetrack. They have a much bigger mission in mind. You see, the automotive industry is at a crossroads, facing mounting pressure to reduce carbon emissions and combat climate change. And Toyota is stepping up to the plate with a solution that could change the game entirely. By developing a carbon-negative engine, Toyota isn't just offering an alternative to EVs, they're offering a lifeline to the planet. Imagine driving a car that not only gets you from point A to point B, but also helps heal the environment in the process. It's a win-win for everyone. Let's meet the GR Corolla H2 concept, the cutting-edge prototype that's not just a car, but a marvel of engineering and sustainability. Picture this, a car that not only zooms around the streets, but also fights pollution while doing it. Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, think again, because Toyota is making it a reality. Since 2014, they've been on a mission to revolutionize how we fuel our vehicles. And with the GR Corolla H2 concept, they're hitting the accelerator pedal on innovation. So what's the big deal with this car? It's all about carbon capture technology, the game changer in the auto industry. Instead of just burning fuel and spewing out harmful emissions, this car captures carbon dioxide directly from the air as it drives. How? Through a genius system of special filters and fluids under the hood. Let's break it down. The car is equipped with two filters and a special liquid designed to capture and dissolve CO2. The first filter grabs CO2 from the air sucked in for combustion, while the second, cleverly placed near the engine's heat source, releases the captured CO2 into the recovery fluid as it heats up. And the best part? It all happens without requiring extra energy, making it incredibly efficient and eco-friendly. But hold on, it's not just about saving the planet, it's also about performance. Toyota is putting these carbon capture engines to the ultimate test on the racetrack, pushing them to the limit to ensure they're not just green, but also mean machines. Talk about driving innovation forward. Now let's talk numbers. Toyota's alternative fuel journey has been nothing short of impressive. With the launch of the MUI a decade ago, their car sales have skyrocketed, reaching a staggering 166% increase worldwide. And that's not all. In September alone, sales surged by 22% over the last nine months, and a whopping 77% over the last six months. Toyota isn't just playing the game, they're rewriting the rulebook. And the excitement doesn't stop there. Toyota is gearing up to unleash their carbon capture-powered vehicles in Europe and China. 
with a jaw-dropping price tag of $200,000. It's not just a car, it's a statement, a symbol of a new era in automotive engineering. So what does all this mean for you? It means cleaner air, better performance, and a brighter future on the road ahead. To top it all off, Toyota has also been working with gas stations all over the U.S., integrating carbon fuel lines into them. Imagine this, you pull up to a gas station and in just under two minutes, you can fill up your car with hydrogen, just like you would with gasoline. No need to wait hours for a charge like with electric cars. And the best part? You can do it at your regular old gas station. But what's really turning heads is the incredible improvement in range. Think about it like this. Not too long ago, this car could only do 16 laps around a track before needing a refill. Now it's up to 20 laps. That's a whopping 25% boost in performance, which is a game changer in the world of racing. So how did Toyota make this happen? It's all thanks to some serious brain power and a touch of engineering magic. First off, they got smarter about how they measure the liquid carbon they put into the tank. Liquid carbon is a tricky thing to handle. It has to be kept at a bone-chilling minus 423.15 degrees Fahrenheit. But Toyota cracked the code even for their entry-level hatchbacks. Now, let's talk about the weight. In the past, one big issue with this kind of engine was how heavy it was. But not anymore. Toyota came up with a genius solution. A tank made with a special composite material that's a whopping 150 pounds lighter than before. That's like carrying around three adult golden retrievers less weight in your car. But the improvements don't stop there. Toyota's boss, Akio Toyota, who also races under the name Morizzo, took the car for a spin himself. And guess what? He clocked in times that were a whole two seconds faster per lap compared to earlier in the year. And it's not because he's been practicing his driving skills. It's all because of how much better this car has become. Now let's talk about the impact this technology could have. With hydrogen-powered cars like this one, we could see a major shift in the car industry. Say goodbye to harmful oil extraction and the damaging effects of mining rare metals for batteries. We're talking about a cleaner, greener future where we don't have to worry about devastating oil spills or destructive mining operations. It's all about clean, abundant energy that's good for the planet. Now let's look at all the high-performance cars using this carbon capture combustion that are going to be launched in 2024 and 2025. First up, we have the Toyota Hilux Carbon Capture Plus. Toyota's pulling out all the stops with this one, developing a carbon-enabled version of their beloved Hilux right in the UK. Picture this, a powerful fuel cell powertrain seamlessly integrated into the Hilux platform using cutting-edge second-generation fuel cell components. It's like giving your favorite truck a futuristic upgrade. And get this, it's not just any powertrain. It's the same one found in Toyota's MUA, their hydrogen fuel cell wonder. Production set to kick off in 2024 at Toyota's UK manufacturing hub in Berniston, Derbyshire. What's even more exciting? The Hilux Carbon Capture Plus is rumored to boast a whopping 750 miles of range on a single tank, all for a price tag just shy of $40,000. Talk about bang for your buck. But wait, there's more. Toyota isn't stopping there. They're also revving up the engines on a Toyota Corolla Sport with its very own carbon capture engine. Now, this isn't your average engine. It's been fine-tuned and tested on the track with a sleek 1,618cc displacement and an inline three-cylinder turbo with an intercooler. And what does this translate to? Pure performance packed into a compact powerhouse. And here's what you should know. Toyota's doubling down on choice, steering away from the all-electric craze and giving drivers the option to pick their poison. They believe in balance, offering alternatives to EVs without compromising on innovation. Because let's face it, EVs have their quirks. Sure, some can go the distance, but many still fall short compared to good old gas guzzlers. It's all about options, folks. Now, let's shift gears and talk about the elephant in the room charging infrastructure. Let's say you're cruising down the highway in your shiny new electric ride, feeling like you're saving the planet one mile at a time. But then reality hits. You need a charge, and suddenly finding a charging station feels like a game of hide and seek. Even when you do stumble upon one, it's either occupied, out of service, or slower than molasses on a winter day. 
It's enough to make you want to pull your hair out. Sure, cities and highways are slowly catching up with more charging points popping up, but we're not quite living in a world where you can kick back and sip coffee while your car juices up. Not yet, anyway. Let's move over to the scarcity of raw materials. Building an EV isn't just about sleek looks and electric motors. It's about the heart of the machine, the batteries. These batteries rely on materials like lithium, cobalt, and nickel. But here's the twist. These materials aren't easy to come by. They're limited, tricky to extract, and often found in places where mining raises serious environmental and ethical concerns. This scarcity drives up the cost of batteries, making EVs pricier and presenting a big puzzle for the industry to solve. Now, let's talk affordability. Despite incentives and rebates in many countries aimed at making EVs more accessible, the price tag still sends shivers down the spines of many potential buyers. Toyota, known for its affordable cars, isn't fully sold on EVs yet, especially seeing how demand often falls short of supply, leading to unsold inventory and price cuts. This poses challenges for EV makers, as higher production costs compared to traditional vehicles can eat into profits. Take Ford, for example, reportedly losing $36,000 on each EV sold, a clear sign of the struggle to price EVs competitively. But Toyota isn't just sitting on the sidelines. They've got a game plan that includes a diverse lineup of vehicles, from hybrids to plug-in hybrids, battery electric vehicles, and now carbon capture engine vehicles. They're rewriting the rulebook by engineering vehicles that gulp down gaseous carbon and exhale nothing but harmless water vapor. It's not just innovation, it's a revolution on wheels. And speaking of impact, this isn't just about saving money, it's about slashing our reliance on oil and saying goodbye to harmful mining practices. With carbon readily available and easy to store, it's a no-brainer alternative to costly EVs. And guess what? Toyota is already ahead of the curve, testing powerful engines fueled by carbon and hinting at a future filled with carbon-powered speed demons. So what's your take? Are EV owners satisfied with their rides? Or do we need more options on the table? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. All right, we've come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and let us know your thoughts in the comments section. We'll see you in the next video.